Hey YouTube, it's me Popcorn again. I've tried this video a few times and it's gone over 10 minutes. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. There. Okay. We're getting into the bias. It's been a while since I did a uh, video outside of the gaming industry. <laughs> because that's pretty much all I do. But, today I thought I'd give a overclocking guide on the Core i3. Core i5s and Core i7s on the 1156 socket platform. I don't really know if 1366 because uh, I don't have a 1366 platform computer right now. I just have a 775 and a 1156. I can show you how to overclock the 775 if you want me to. Just send me a request or whatever. I can do that. But let's get to the 1156 right now. In my computer here, I have the Core i7 860, and I've been running it at 4 gigahertz on the Corsair um, H50 Hydro Series CPU water cooler. Got my little 120 mil radiator Mac radiator. I got my thing on the front on the CPU there, and it's a good little cooler. It's cooling it, keeping it at the good temperatures. I'll note right now if you if you only have a stock cooler, go get a new cooler because you're not you're not able to overclock enough to increase any kind of performance with the stock cooler because your temperatures will go way too high. I'm telling you, way too high. It's dangerous. Get a good cooler like this or a high quality air cooler. It doesn't have to be a water cooler. But yeah. Anyway, let's get to overclocking, I guess. Yeah, so I have the ASUS P7P55D-E Pro motherboard. Not all motherboards are the same. I'm sure you know that, but they're pretty close. So, I will try to show you how you would on your motherboard, how to overclock that. So... On mine here, I have this thing called AI Tweaker, and that's where you do all your overclocking stuff. And yours, it may, might be something different. Go find it, and then once you're there, we'll follow this stuff. Uh, by the way, it's recommended you get your iPod Touch or a laptop and do it beside you here as you're doing this, so you don't mess up and forget anything. But it's not really that hard. So let's get to it. You're going to want to go to AI, AI Overclock Tuner. It could be something called, it could be called something different on your motherboard, but there will be manual, there will be maybe a couple other ones, but you're going to want to put it to manual, and then it'll give you CPU ratio, speed step, turbo tech, uh, base clock frequency, PC. IE frequency, DRAM, DRAM frequency is going to be important for this, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm not really up on overclocking the memory. You just go with me on this and put it to the stock clock because I don't know anything about overclocking your RAM or anything. So three. 3 minutes and 55 seconds in the video. Okay, we're going to have to hurry up here. So, I prefer to turn speed step, off, speed step tech off, put it to disable because that's what your, how your operating system is able to control your CPU frequency. It'll, it turns it up and down if you're doing high core gaming programs or just browsing the internet. I like to keep it on disabled so that it just runs it like pure 4 gigahertz only. So, put uh, turn speed step off, and then the base clock frequency here. First of all, go to your DRAM frequency and put that to your stock uh, frequency. Mine happens to be 1600 megahertz. Find out what the stock on your RAM is and put it to that. Mine is 1600, yours could be 1333 or 1066, I don't know. Find out and put it to the stock. 
So I'm putting mine to 1600. Now go to CPU ratio setting. Put that to 15. I like to start at 15. You gotta, you might have to raise it up or put it down. I don't know. So put that to 15 for right now, and then we will increase. Let's put the base clock at 200 for now, because that's an even number in your. Oops. Your DRAM frequency will have your stock clock in it. So 1600. We're at 3 gigahertz right now. So if I. You can go to 3 gigahertz if you want, but I'm going to put it up to 4 gigahertz for now. If you want me to do a separate tutorial to tell you how to do it for the frequency you want to go to, I will do that for you. Just send me a request. So I'm going to put the ratio to 20. That's your multiplier, by the way. If you multiply 200 by 20, you're going to get 4,000, 4, which is 4 gigahertz. So you're going to put it to that. We're at 4 gigahertz now. And then down to your voltages. I personally am new to the voltage thing. I just figured it out a little while ago, and that's how I was able to get 4 gigahertz. For 4 gigahertz, I'm going to have to put it up to 1.4 volts. The reason being, because you need to supply the frequency with enough electricity to sustain that frequency. Yeah, that's what you need to do. It could be, you're going to want it to, to put it a little less for 3 gigahertz. Because you don't need as much power. So, let's go. Ah, another thing. QPI frequency. It could be called QPI link frequency on your motherboard. It's called Quick Path Internet. In Interconnect. That's what it stands for. You're going to want to go to that. Oops. Put it to max. Mine's 7202 megahertz. Put the PCIe frequency at 100, always. 100. Okay. So we got our voltage, we got our... Leave the DRAM voltage at auto, leave the IMC voltage at auto, leave the PCH voltage at auto, because I don't know what any of that is. But the CPU voltage, put I put that to manual instead of offset, and put I put it to 1.4. Uh... I think that's all we need to do. CPU configuration. Yes. Okay. Let's. Oops. Exit and save changes. again. There, right there. 4 gigahertz. Or 4 gigahertz right now. And that's pretty much all you need to do. If you want me to do a separate tutorial on a certain gigahertz you want me to tell you to put it at, then I'll do that. And like I said, if you want me to do a tutorial on overclocking the 775 Intel Core 2 Quad and Core 2 Duo CPUs, Tell me and I will do that on that computer because that's my previous computer and it works good. I'm using that as a server now. So we're at 4 gigahertz and that's pretty much all you need to do. If you missed anything, I'm sorry, but that's pretty much all you need to do for that. So thank you. This was Popcorn 4545's first overclocking guide. And I will see you later. My battery's running low. Good timing. Alright, thank you guys. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and I will see you later. Thank you. See ya.